This week, we're in the land of monster lobsters, fresh coconuts, and deserted beaches. Welcome to the Bahamas. We're here uh, anchored off a private beach, not a boat as far as we can see. We're going to go out, look for some lobster, big Bahamian bugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to go out on a little lobster mission, so let's see what we can find out there. <laughs> The Bahamas are a chain of islands that have cuts in between them. So during the change of tides, the current is absolutely ripping. We decided to go to the beach for a little beach time before slack tide. Right when we jumped in, Cole found a massive queen conch sitting on the bottom. So we went ahead and grabbed it for conch fritters later. After gathering a couple conch, we decided to go out and search for some lobster. Here in the Bahamas, it's both legal and customary to use a pole spear or Hawaiian sling to harvest lobster. The reason why is because the caverns are so deep and the lobsters are so big. So it's the best way to harvest them safely. But before doing so, make sure to check that they don't have any eggs. <laughs> it's massive! Look at this thing! Here in the Bahamas, we have spiny lobster. They have barbs and spines all over their bodies. So be careful not to get stuck in your hand or poke a hole in your dinghy. Pretty epic. The big old lobster. We're not in the keys anymore. Yes, we're gonna keep the tail. Might cook the legs and probably head tonight. There's certainly enough meat in the head to <laughs> last us a meal. And uh, got some pump. <laughs> and uh, it's almost as big as Zeke. That's crazy. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go back yeah. before the tide changes. There you go. Before heading back to our anchorage, we stopped to pick some fresh coconuts. Cole even climbed the tree to grab some. With a dinghy full of conch, lobster, and coconuts, we headed to the beach for an afternoon of living off the land. Cole and I worked together to clean the conch. First, I hammered a hole in the shell and then used a butter knife to release the muscle. Then I handed it over to Cole for the hard part. We're here on Halloween. Probably the spookiest thing that's going to happen. The levitating knife. So you want to make conch fritters? <laughs> last thing we're going to do is clean the lobster while we're at the beach. Just so we don't get a lot of lobster blood on the boat. He's actually big enough that we're going to pull the legs off. And Cole and I will eat the legs and antennas. And we'll save the tail from some guests coming. Pretty cool first lobster back in the Bahamas. The next day we headed out on round two of our lobster mission. We wanted to go ahead and stock our freezer with lobster before heading to Nassau, where lobster are much less abundant. Make sure to check every crevice and cave and look way back in the caves. That's typically where they hide. When freediving and spearfishing, always dive with one person up while the other person dives down. This is especially important when lobstering because many times we're crawling under the rocks to pull the lobsters out. The lobsters in the Bahamas are the biggest I've ever seen, and they're extremely strong. Went hunting for coconuts. The best coconuts are the green ones, the young ones. You want them to be heavy. The heaviest 
coconuts if they're not heavy, they don't have water. Finn was scared of the water as a puppy, so to watch him launch himself off the dinghy is really fun now. We just grabbed some gear and are headed to the beach. We're going to do a little cookout with the lobster we just got and coconut and have a nice afternoon. Cool beach set up. It says we're welcome, so we're taking them up on it. Land of the dog-sized lobster did not disappoint. Very fortunate. We got two big lobsters for our two dogs. So what do you think? It's, it looks just as big as this. <laughs> yeah. When we clean the lobster, we try to use every part of it. So first we remove the intestines by using an antenna. Then I use a knife to cut around the antennas at the base to get all of the meat possible. Don't waste the antennas. And don't waste the legs. We'll use every part of this lobster. So most people just twist the tails off, but they lose on a lot of meat. We'll cut around the head. Then again, you're in the shot, dude. And uh, yeah, you cut around it, you get all that extra meat. Jeez. The tail. After we cleaned the lobster, it was time to build a fire. A little Fiji inspired butter sweet chili and garlic for dipping sauce. Now it's officially a uh, beach party in the Bahamas. When we showed up, there was really a nice fire already built for us, so we kind of cheated and used somebody's fire that was already built. <laughs> Thanks for building us an epic fire, and we hope that you accept the fire that we built for you in return. Yeah. Cook some awesome lobster. The next day was the last day of good weather before a blow came in, so we decided to go out for one last mission. After taking your shot, make sure to take your time to wrestle them out and don't pull too hard because you don't want to dislodge your shot. Cole found three massive lobsters hidden under a fairly shallow rock, so he decided he wanted to try to hand grab one of them.
After checking for eggs, he put one hand behind the back and the other one to grab the first knuckle of the antenna. <laughs> it is important to us to practice sustainable harvest and leave plenty of lobsters to reproduce for future generations. With a couple lobster and fish in the bucket, we decided to head in to cook up some lobster legs. We are in the newly renovated galley on Saint La Vie, which is really exciting because there's two of us here. Which is crazy. <laughs> there's a lot of room and really excited to share this recipe. Uh, it's super simple and actually I have to give credit to Chef Will uh, cooking with clams because he's the one who taught me it. But if you get a lobster that's big enough, bring a pot of water to a boil add salt and then go ahead and add in all of the legs and antennas. Boil for two to four minutes depending on the size of the legs and antennas. Turn these off right away. We'll go ahead, pull them out, pull them off. See on some of the meat, you can see it's done. So that's great. We're gonna need a bigger bowl. <laughs> Try three kisses. Hi. <laughs> we're, doing all, we're doing all right. So, Voila. Cool the lobster right after boiling. If the meat pulls out like this, you did it right. Where are we going? Plant some coconuts. We're giving back. After collecting some green coconuts for eating and some brown coconuts for planting, we loaded up the dinghy and headed back to our anchorage. Finn was excited to help us plant the coconuts and even helped us dig the holes. In total, we ended up planting seven coconuts that we hope will be full trees in a couple years to come. After planting the coconuts, we took some time to enjoy some coconuts ourselves, even the puppies. It was a great last day before heading to Nassau. Thanks for joining us on this adventure, and we look forward to having you join us on the next one very soon.